Samuel. Have you had any complaints with the red card? Do you think the decision was fair? Uh, what I think is um, uh, the inconsistency. Uh, the players don't know uh, anymore uh, what is the policy. And I think it's all across. And uh, when you see this weekend, the Premier League, um, yesterday, Leicester Chelsea. And then it's VR is not coming on the line. Today it's coming on the line, and then it's coming a penalty, or two penalty situations. But they don't come on the line. I think, the, especially the first one, I think for me was clear and obvious handball. So, what is the policy? Did you ask Anthony say what the policy is? I, uh, of course, we we talk, but not 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 a lot. But uh, so. Yeah, some questions uh, we have. So, uh, Harry, I mean, that, that's two red cards for Casemiro in quite a short space of time. He's going to miss more football now. Is, is that a problem? Uh, so there's another one, inconsistent. Uh, the refereeing is coming in the start of the season with the policy. Uh, we are Premier League. Uh, we are, uh, it's going strong here. We want intensity. Casemiro has in across European leagues in over 500 games he had never had a red card and now he had twice overthink that but he's a uh, he, yeah, he plays tough but he plays fair and also in this uh, he's playing fair same as against Crystal Palace uh, so it's very debatable so you're not going to tell him to change or anything like that uh, but Casemiro is uh, Everyone who knows something about football, eh? you, you know, and of course, eh, when you freeze it, it looks bad, but everyone who knows something about football, who was acting on top football, eh, they know eh, what is bad and what, is, eh, what, is, what isn't bad, what is fair. And I tell you, Casemiro is a really fair player. Tough, eh? but fair, and... Um, yeah, so when it shows over 500 games in big leagues, big leagues, never sent off. How, how is he, Eric? He looked absolutely crestfallen when he came off. How, how has he been in the dressing room? What has he said to the players? <laughs> Not a lot. He's, um, he's disappointed. Uh, Jamie. Yeah, I was just going to ask you about the freeze framing that you mentioned. Is this part of the the issue or the problem that anything slowed down can look a lot worse, I mean. <laughs> yeah, definitely, definitely. Yeah, but then, but you, then you have, when you do acting like this, you have to be consistent huh? across all the games and all the decisions. Huh? And now they, they, they isolate one. And so it's a little bit the same as against Crystal Palace. Huh? They, they could, they definitely, they, when, when you saw that incident, you should have sent off eh, when you are a really consistent three, four players and not only one. Huh? And so this is um, yeah, a fall, but what I say, across a lot of Premier League games. Just uh, about him being absent now, how, how will you cope with that? Oh, we have to consider that for uh, overnight. And Rob? Eric, given you've, you've had to play for um, almost an hour with 10 men, were you quite pleased with the rest of the performance? Like you've made a couple of good saves and a different day you might have won. Ah, let's make that point. And once again, this team showed uh, big spirit, team spirit, uh, good fighting spirit, uh, supporting each other. Play, uh, I think, with 11 and with 10, they play a really good level. Uh, we play in the week, they didn't. We were with 10 uh, and I think, um, uh, we defended well, we had good counter breaks, we had some so good attacks, some good opportunities. Uh, the, the strike from uh, Bruno on the post, uh, of course I have also seen the strike from them on the post and we had, and that was, uh, that was a mistake, from a, they get a counter from a corner for us and one on one who uh, David saved. But all over I think uh, the performance uh, was quite well and th then you are disappointed that you only uh, of course, uh, collect one point. Uh, last question, Carl. Mr. Dunham, you played Jaden Sancho at number 10 today. You said he, he wanted a strong press, quick feet in midfield, and a player can create 
and run in behind before the game. Do you feel Jadon Sancho is up to that task? Yeah, yeah I think he did quite well. I, um, as a 10, as he did in, in, in um, yeah, some games more, Barcelona, um, Leicester. Uh, there was he really decisive against Leicester. Uh, also today, it's, I think, some really good actions. Um, uh, one time he was really close to a goal with a run uh, behind the defending line, a cross from Bruno, all, all, almost uh, came there. I think um, yeah, he, did, uh, he did a good job. Are you pleased with his physical capacity at the moment and the ability, how aggressive he is when playing games? Uh, I, I, I think he can, and I think he can make the difference uh, when we play three against two in the midfield. And, and it's not bad when you have Casemiro, Bruno, and you have Jadon Sancho. Thank you very much. Yeah, he was limping, uh, a little bit limping after the bad tackle. Um, so, uh, in the end, uh, I thought they come, uh, they bring another striker, big and tall one, and I don't want to go for a risk. Uh, we were already downsized to 10 to go with one player, maybe 90%. And that's why I caught him off, but I think uh, it's not too bad. Okay, thank you. Uh, <laughs>